All right, today's video is replacing the low beam headlights on the 2012 Toyota Sequoia. So what I did, I went online, of course, I just go to Amazon. I know I shouldn't, but I do. And I've got some H11s here, type Z11 Terminator. I don't know why I picked these. I just go by the reviews and the rankings uh, and we see how it goes. These are LEDs. I did have a, another LED. It, it went out. I don't know why. I guess they do go out. You never know why. All right. These are, here's the, here's the Farron Terminator. Put that box over there. Oh, they give you a little glove for putting them on. That's very nice. Oh, they give you two gloves. Two gloves. And then there's the bulbs. Big daddies. Big daddies. There we go right there. So I will put the gloves on. I'm going to use the gloves they give me and make sure I don't drop this. And I'm gonna also use 10 millimeter socket. Boom, why? Uh, to pull out this cable right here. Do you see that cable? The green, do you see that? Do you see it? Do you see it? I can barely see it, it's sunny out. All right, to get that out of the assembly, the headlight assembly, I have to loosen these two headlight mounting bolts here. For a reference there, zoom out, boom. 10 milo, I just take those off. That way I can pull the headlight out a little bit. That will allow me to get the plug with the new lamp installed. So let me, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Right here, let's just loosen this now. You can watch, people seem to like the, like these videos where people are just loosening bolts. Do, 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 do. Let's do it. That sound, the sound of, the sound of progress. I did buy a magnetic telescoping wand for when, not if, for when I drop my bolts down into the belly of the beast, the engine bay, uh, I can just retrieve them quickly. I'm gonna douse these, these are a little rusty. I think I sprayed them earlier with anti-corrosion, but I will do it again. I'm gonna put that over here so I don't lose them. Highly exciting guys, but you too can do this. Hey, with uh, cars being so overpriced and ridiculous, it's like instead of a car payment, they now call it a car mortgage. It's for the rest of your life. I would never buy a new car today at these crazy prices. Car, uh, cars inventory on dealers lots are stacking up. Teslas are stacking up. They're parking them everywhere. Uh, Chevy, Toyota, GM, Ford, they're all stacking up, especially the EV crap. Uh, they're all stacking up. They can't move these things because 90000 for a crappy GMC Dodge Toyota pickup truck, give me a break. 40K maybe, 90K, give me a break. Whoever is paying that is just stupid, a fool in their money. Uh, people are not paying it, and that's why they're uh, backing up. You are now seeing at the auctions, here I'm just going to lift that tab over the nub. See, now you get a little wiggle room. Not much, but just enough to get the lamp in. And then I'll be able to put that plug in. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of repo auction houses have repos from dealer lots the banks that gave the loans for the dealers to buy cars are repossessing the cars because the dealers can't move them all right here is the lamp assembly led lamp assembly connected to the harness they do not give you much cable that's my biggest beef with these cars just give me a few more so i can because so i can work this so now i got to get it into this the opening of the housing and uh, you just give it a little twist, quarter turn, and it locks into place. All right, I'll be back. I don't know if you can even see it. It's right here. Here is the opening. Or my finger, this finger, gate finger. I don't know, I can't even see here. Here we go. If you haven't done it before, it's easy. You just gotta buy the lamp, take your time. Do not break the lamp like I almost did, like right there. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna just, Work this in, I'll pull this headlight out a little bit to give me some wiggle room and then button it back right, up. The trick is there's one special uh, little nub and there's three total, one's wider than the other two. And it kind of goes in at uh, say, if you're looking at this 12 o'clock, it goes in about three o'clock and then you kind of give it a little rotation. Boom, clockwise, not even a slight quarter turn. And then you're good to go. And we got some air pollution going over Go American Airlines, yay. Okay, that's all you do with these things. Just a simple little turn and uh, you're all set. I am now gonna do the other side 
which should be, I'm looking at it, should be just as easy. And for reference, this, oh, I'll use my white glove. This right here was the one I had in before, a lot bigger than the new ones. So technology, right? So it makes it easier to install the newer ones. Harder to get these in and out because they don't give you much clearance on the headlamp assembly. So what I'm going to do, I'm doing the passenger side now. Get this puppy in and call it a day. All right. All right, there we go. Good LED light. Good LED light. Good LED. Now, the only problem is this is a 12-year-old uh, truck. I'm starting to get yellowing, fading on the plastics. Uh, but I keep up on that. You can just buff them out, wax them out. You can clear coat them, which I find really doesn't work. Um, I just buff them whenever they need it. Get, get a buffer or just some compound and use some muscle and it'll keep it clear for you. Instead of spending 250 bucks to replace them, right? All right, so all you need on this is new lamps, which are nice because they are smaller, makes it easier to fit into the sockets. And 10 millimeter socket I use just to, well, you don't even need to do that now, thinking about it, because the old ones are larger. I needed the 10 millimeter to loosen these to move the headlights forward to get the existing older LEDs, which are larger, out. And then they gave me nice little gloves to wear, and there's the box. I will save the good one. I replaced both of them. I will, I will save the good LED lamp for backup, just in case. I didn't. I figured I'd replace them both so they'll be, have the same, uh, the same look. I found when I turned this on, I have one old incandescent bulb left right here. I got a, that one's good, but this one's bad over here. It's kind of gone, and I'm going to go find if there's LED replacements for those as well. All right, guys, easy little thing to do. Just got to get the right lamps, the right type lamps for your car, and Amazon helps with that. Put in your car information. They'll tell you this fits, this doesn't fit, and look at headlight, a low beam, high beam, and also you have to, you know, fog. I think fog might be the same type H11 for the old fogger lights. Uh, you have to check on your vehicle. All right, I'm out.